Archaea is a very ancient organism. Like bacteria, archaea is a prokaryotic organism. It is also an extremophile that can survive in very extreme environments. Some living habits of archaea make it a potential biotechnology development prospect. For example, archaea can produce heat-resistant xylen, which is used in the paper industry. In the paper industry, chemical bleaching produces a large amount of toxic wastewater, causing serious pollution to our water resources. The use of thermostable xylenase produced by alkaliophiles and extremophiles to replace chlorine in the paper making process. This can reduce pollution in the paper industry and is of great significance to environmental protection. In addition, the plastic bags we usually use are made of petroleum as raw materials, which are not easy to be degraded in the natural environment. So this is a problem we urgently need to solve. Currently on the market, there are fuzz made using synthetic biological methods to replace ordinary plastic products. Different from petroleum-based plastics, FA is equivalent to the fat in the body of microorganisms. After use, it can be completely decomposed by microorganisms in natural environments such as soil and ocean. And extreme halophilic bacteria produce higher levels of FA than common bacteria, so there's also potential to use archaea to reduce plastic pollution. Moreover, when rivers, lakes, or soils in cold regions at high latitudes are polluted, psychrophilic microorganisms can be used to degrade and transform pollutants. In these cold regions, the characteristics of psychrophilic microorganisms are of great significance to the remediation of polluted areas. Similarly, in extreme environments with high temperature or high salinity, archaea with different characteristics can be used to degrade pollutants.